Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here back and today uh, we have something special that I want to work on with you guys. And this is not just one video. We are going to be doing a mini series. Maybe it might end up being a long series. I'm not really sure yet. But this is how to get started with modded Minecraft. A lot of people that I talk to nowadays, um, they just say, you know, you ask them if they play modded Minecraft and they say, it's just too overwhelming. There's too much to do. Like, I don't know where to start and whatnot. Um, and you know, it can be a little overwhelming. I've been into mods for years. I started playing Minecraft in October, 2010, and I was in modded with the very first tech it pack that came out. I don't remember when that was, but I remember messing with build craft and stuff like that really early on. So today I, I was sitting down and I was thinking, what can I do? What can I do? And I just thought, I am going to make a series where I go through particular mods starting off um, and just explaining them and not really doing full in-depth tutorials on what a machine might do, but telling you why you would use that machine and why it's useful and why it's helpful and why you could find it fun and stuff like that. So if you're expecting a Let's Play it's gonna kind of be a let's play. I'm gonna use this world as a let's play. Uh, we're gonna add mods to it and everything, and we're just gonna go through and do some cool stuff. But um, for the most part, this is gonna be an informative series. If you guys aren't familiar with modded Minecraft, um, check out this series. I hope you enjoy it. You know, if there's something specific that you want me to cover that I miss, I will cover it in the next episode. Please keep the conversation going in this comment section because this is what this series is for. If you have questions, I'll answer them. If I don't answer them in the comments, I'll answer them in the videos. And it's, it's hopefully going to be a very helpful series for each and every one of us. All right, so we are starting off in Minecraft 1.7.10. That's kind of the standard for uh, a lot of mods nowadays. There's something like 1,200 mods out there, uh, probably more. Um, and that sounds like a lot, but we only have 21 mods loaded. Uh, you can see 21 mods loaded, 21 mods active. Now, a lot of these are... GUI focused, uh, they, their quality of life, or I might have a map or different things and we'll get in and I'll show you kind of what those are. Um, but for the most part, I have one set of mods and that's something called thermal expansion. Uh, it's, it's from a, a team called COFH, uh, and it's a, it's kind of a standard in most mod packs that you see nowadays. Um, you know, there, there's, probably a pack out there that doesn't have this. I mean, it is very, very, very highly used, but we're going to go ahead and jump in. I've uh, created a world and I gave myself cheats. You know, this isn't a real let's play or anything, but I'm only going to use it for special things. I'm not going to use it for anything crazy. You can see I just created it. Uh, it's 545 right now on 6-1. Oh, by the way, happy birthday, Notch. Anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump in uh, and you know, this is very much just your plain old starter world. Um, you you load in and you see everything that you see and everything and it, it's really cool. And I did start myself off with a starter chest. But okay, so first things first, you look at a screen when you jump into modded Minecraft and you see this thing in the upper right. What is it? Well, it's a map and maps are really, really nice. Uh, I'm sure, you know, you've probably had some sort of experience with them or maybe you've gotten lost or maybe you died somewhere and you couldn't find your stuff and you lost all kinds of stuff. Well, that's what these maps are for. Um, if I, on this particular map, this is journey map. So if you're familiar with it or if you have it in your pack, this applies to you. But if I hit J, um, well, that's our settings. Sorry. If I hit J, this is what you'll see. Um, it's kind of a, just a big overview. It kind of looks like the map that we would see if we crafted one and pulled it up and looked at it. Uh, so I can see myself. That's my little cursor right there. And then I can see all the chickens and 
pigs and everything. And I can scroll in and scroll out. And there's a limit to how far out you can see stuff. But if I went and traveled a thousand blocks this way, I would be able to see a thousand blocks in that direction. I can also set a waypoint. And I just, you know, that was that little button right there. It says waypoints. I hit that. I'm going to do new. I'm going to name this spawn, right? Because this is spawn. And I can change the color to anything I want it to be. I can select random colors, um, just, you know, craziness. I can turn it on or off, uh, change the, the worlds where it's at. But I'm just going to, I'm just created it and I'm going to hit save. I'm going to do close and then I'm going to hit this X. So now, oop, oop, I walked into the, uh, let's get out of here. So now we see um, a big beacon in the world, just like that, which is pretty nice. Um, but I also, if you look on that mini map, it's kind of small, but I can see the word spawn. So it's there. I know it's there and I'm going to always be able to tell that it's there. So if I go out exploring and I get lost, I can always come back to spawn. Like you can, uh, there's also ways that if you die, um, I don't think I have a good way to kill myself right here, but let's just do slash kill. There we go. If I look over that way, you see I have a death point. I died at 5.47.59 p.m. on 6.1. Um, and so I can know that I need to get over there, and I could see that name. could also look at my waypoints. You see it's added there. I'm going to go ahead and remove it um, just because we don't need to really see it now. It was kind of a, a wasted death. But All right, so that's kind of the first thing you see when you jump into a a mod pack or whatnot and you know you're you're getting started and you're a little you, you're probably feeling a little overwhelmed you know or maybe not that might have been an easy one to handle but for next thing you do is you open your inventory boom what is that there are hundreds of items next to me what what is this what is this uh this fantastic in my opinion fantastic uh thing is called any eye uh, and it's not enough items is what it stands for. And what this does is it allows you to see crafting recipes for any item in the game. Also, I can, if I'm in cheat mode, like I don't think I am now, but if I right click on something, I get a recipe. If I left click on something, I get what it's used for. So it's how to make it is right click. What it's used for is left click also alternatively i can hit r for recipes or u for uses so you can see that and you know you can click on a question mark and everything and it's going to show these phantom images if you just click on that question mark this is a three by three i don't get the question mark but if i come in here like this again i get the question mark and i could just click on it now if i had the items in my inventory i could shift click on this little question mark and it would pull the items from my inventory and use them in the crafting grid. So it just pulls it from your inventory and puts it into the crafting grid for you. So you don't have to continue to, to kind of click and go up and down and up and down and I need that and I need that and I need that. It especially helpful when you have a full inventory and you're trying to create, you know, like a, um, an obsidian, thing and you just you know you have the stuff in your inventory but you can't see it so you just you find the recipe that you want and you just shift click on that question mark in the proper crafting grid and uh yeah you're, you're pretty much set to go so i'm gonna i'm gonna take a, a moment here uh and we're gonna look at a few more things but i want to gather some supplies and i will see you guys uh, just all right i've got a few pieces of wood also got some items in here and we can just, you know, kind of click everything out the way that we normally would or I can shift click stuff out. And another uh, feature that you're going to see when you open a chest or any inventory is this right here. And this is not in everything, but it's in my pack. It's called inventory tweaks. Personally, another one of those godsend type mods, quality of life. Um, you know, I can just put, you know, a bunch of random stuff in this chest and it's all crazy and whatnot, and I've just I've got stuff everywhere and yada yada, and it's it's really nice because I can go into this chest and I can just hit R on any spot I think. Oh, let's see, that gave me a crafting recipe, so it must not be R anymore. So I can hit this right here, and that three little dots is the settings. Uh, there used to be an auto sort 
key map. It might be middle click. Yep, there it is. Okay, so middle click on your, your scroll wheel is what it is. And what it does is it just combines everything in your inventory um, and just makes it all nice and neat and pretty. You know what I mean? So you've got like default sorting, which is what you've seen there. Then you have a sort in a column. And if I hit that, might not have enough stuff or sort in rows where there there's our rows. So sort in columns, it's going to go down, sort in rows, it's going to go over. So I've got six items that kind of leveled them out, but I always do a default sort and it just makes it a little easier for you to find things. Now, alternatively, I can hold space and click on anything and it just will put everything in that inventory into my inventory. So that's another nice little thing if you're just moving stuff around. And this also works for your inventory in in your character. So if I, you know, want to, I can hit middle click and it just sorts everything right up the way it's supposed to. Uh, now, it won't necessarily pull things out of your hotbar. It'll usually put things on your hotbar. So if you notice there how I had some items up top and some items down below, it puts them down into your hotbar because I think it prioritizes your hotbar. I'm not sure about that. But hey, it's it's a little thought. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually pick up these torches here, kind of get everything going, make some wood. And the first thing, you know, it, vanilla Minecraft or modded Minecraft, I'm gonna make a crafting table. And a crafting table, there we go. And I'm gonna make another chest uh, just to get things going here. But we're gonna look back at any eye. So now I showed you that any eye can show you just all kinds of recipes just for different things. You know, one thing that I don't craft a lot, enchantment tables. I often forget how to make enchantment tables or uh, redstone lamps isn't really that hard. But there's like, oh, what is that item? I think it's a tripwire hook. I can never remember how to make a tripwire hook. So it's just very nice to be able to see. But you see, we have 12 pages of items. Minecraft really has 12 pages of items? I don't think so. But you'll you'll start to see if we come through. Oh, look, I can see a beacon. Uh, if I do R on a command block, it doesn't work because there's not a recipe for command blocks. There's not a recipe for quartz. You're just going to be able to see that. But it's going to show you everything that's available to you in your in your mod pack or what's installed on your computer. So if I keep going through here, see I got potions. I can actually see brewing west rest blah, 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 brewing recipes, which is really cool. I think that's one really helpful thing. Um, spawn eggs and stuff like that. We come down here towards the end and we start to see these little shapes. Now what these are are something called forge micro blocks, and it's basically just imagine taking a full-size block in Minecraft and cutting it up into this tiny little piece. And I'm actually, I'm going to change something here. That is cheat mode. Oh, it's, it's cheat mode? Why can't I pull that stuff out? Oh, can I? Oh, wait. I'm going to pull out. Oh, it's not working. Is that not cheat mode? Cheat mode. Do I need global? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so now I can take those out. And micro blocks are just that. You you get a little gooey on the ground, and you can see it's just a tiny little block. And I can actually, you know, just put this fancy thing around this, and I've got a nice little thing. But, again, that doesn't really matter that much. Um, you know, micro blocks is one of those things that you can just, do like that's that's one of the little extra features that you have in uh, in Minecraft that it's a decorative. But if we keep looking through any eye, we're gonna see uh, names. So uh, underneath all of this vanilla stuff, you can see the names, how much it does, and everything, or what it does. Um, and it says Minecraft, so you know that that's a vanilla Minecraft item. But if I come down to these micro blocks you can see they say they're from forge micro blocks but if i keep going through there's a ton there's different shapes little nooks little pillars but then i get into some other items thermal dynamics thermal expansion and then uh, i think i have uh, thermal foundation in here somewhere as well thermal foundation so i've got just a whole host of these mods from this thermal 
modding, right? So there's a bunch of different uh, machines that you can make. And this is kind of where I think a lot of people get overwhelmed. Like, I see a redstone furnace. Why would I need a redstone furnace? If you hold shift over the item, it says it smelts items. Okay, I could just make a regular furnace. But your benefits to using, say, like a redstone furnace over a regular furnace is that uh, you often have just different um, fuel sources that you can go by. So you don't always have to run stuff off of like plain old coal or wood or stuff like that. You can generate this power using uh, different machines and stuff like that. And we'll get into that a little later. Uh, but you can generate power. It's called RF. I think it's Redstone Flux. Um, and just power these machines off of that instead of using your coal or whatnot from other things. Now, just sound, just saying that in accordance to the furnace doesn't sound all that neat. Um, but if we look at some of these other machines, it's a called a pulverizer crushes items so what the pulverizer is really nice for is actually doubling ores so you know in vanilla minecraft when you have a stack of iron uh, ore, you put it in a furnace what do you get back a stack of iron that's it that's all you get uh, with a pulverizer or equivalent machines you can get two stacks of iron from one stack of iron ore Sounds pretty neat, right? So, you know, we'll kind of get into that in the next episode. But for now, we just covered a lot of the GUI stuff. Uh, we'll get into, in the next episode, we'll get into starting some power. We'll get into uh, just really getting into the nitty gritty of actual modding. I'm going to do some, some mining and whatnot, and we should be able to have a good bit of fun. But for now, guys... My name is Drax. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got something out of this. Um, if I missed something or if I went too fast on something, please let me know. And I will gladly go back and cover it in the next episode or answer your questions in the comments below. Um, like I said, in the next episode, we're going to cover uh, getting into a power source. Uh, we're going to cover getting into thermal expansion. Uh, and using one of the staple mods of modded Minecraft. So guys, again, my name is Drax. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Get in